Everybody, how you doing? I hope you're uh, having a solemn, reflective, soul-searching, and amend-making Yom Kippur. And when people say to you, Happy Yom Kippur, they really don't know what it means. For those of you who don't know, Yom Kippur is similar to Lent, I suppose. Um, you are supposed to spend the day fasting in temple, and you are supposed to be reflecting on your sins, reflecting on your grievances, thinking about yourself, thinking about your progress in life. And then at the end of the day that you spend in temple and fasting, uh, you eat and you break the fast. And that is supposed to be a bit of a celebration where all debts are forgiven, that's financial debts, and all interpersonal grievances and grudges are also let go. The slate is clean. And it's interesting, when I was growing up, uh, they didn't give everybody the day off from school. I mean, nowadays in Los Angeles, if you are in public school, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, days off. They just, they just take the day off. So for instance, Ru's home right now. Um, it wasn't that way when I was in school. Uh, the Jewish kids got the day off, and uh, most of the Jewish kids went to the beach or just had fun. There wasn't a lot of soul searching, and those Jewish kids who did go to temple and did fast, I think that's great. Uh, just as today, when, when people go to temple and they are observant Jews, I think that's terrific. I mean, it's not my way, I'm not what you would call an observant Jew. I mean, I don't believe in God. I don't believe the Bible is, is anything but a, a collected book of morality plays and fiction. I mean, as they say in Inherit the Wind, the Bible is a book. It's a good book, but it's not the only book. And uh, I kind of subscribe to that belief. So. You're seeing a lot of people at the beach today, and it's a Monday, and it's a work day, and it's because probably kids are given the day off, and if there are any Jews around, they're just having a day. And I, I just find that hypocritical. I don't like hypocrisy. Uh, I think that if you're a Jew, you're a member of a race. It's a race, a culture, and a spiritual devotion. Uh, I'm kind of two out of three. I consider uh, it a culture. I mean, I like Woody Allen. I like Mel Brooks. You know what I mean? That's, that's reasonable, right? I also think it's a race because my, my grandparents were all from Ukraine and they were all kicked out in the pogroms of the early 20th century for being Jews. In fact, I can put up the manifest where my grandfather and my grandmother who were smuggled to Hungary, to Budapest in a hay wagon, got on a boat and came to Ellis Island. Uh, my grandfather's name was Zarki, which was anglicized to Zarkov, and my grandmother was Stifelman. And they got married when they got to New York. So I do consider it a racial thing, uh, not just a cultural thing. And um, I think it's something to be proud of. I know that when I walk in a room, nobody goes, oh, look, it's a Jew, because I look like everybody else. I mean, if I were black or Asian or Hispanic, I would immediately be tagged as a minority. So when you're Jewish, you kind of make the choice to let people know and suffer the consequences. I mean, I can't say I've had the same disadvantages as blacks, uh, Hispanics, and Asians. I'm not optically viewed as Jewish, but you know, I've had my share of, of horror stories and discrimination as of a lot of my friends, you know? So you make a choice. And I identify as Jewish as a racial and a cultural thing. But the God stuff, count me out. I just uh, don't believe in it. But I will tell you a quick joke. So uh, a guy is always buying a lottery ticket and he always loses. And he goes to temple every day and he prays. He says, God, God, why can't I win the lotto? Why can't I win the lotto? And suddenly there's a thunderbolt and lightning and God speaks unto the man and he says, because you're a nag.
Anyway, you can take that for what it's worth. All right, I'm going to get back on the road, shoot some B-roll for you all. I hope you have a remorseful, introspective, soul-searching, forgiving of everyone, and uh, thoughtful day. And uh, when you break your fast, that's when you have fun. Be sure to have a drink on me. Anyway, this is uh, Larry, your local Jew, signing off from the Pacific Palisades. Ciao.